Here you go. You know, Molly is really thrilled about helping TJ. Uh, you have a remarkable daughter. Thank you. I like to think she gets all of her finest qualities from me. I have no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I hear her. I can tell it's her. Hi. It's so cold outside. If I were not your dearest friend, I will hello. Am I interrupting something? This is Sean. He's taking care of this nice kid, TJ, and Molly's helping him with his homework. Oh, well, yes, that explains everything. I'll be back to pick up TJ. Uh, if he gives you any trouble. He's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. He'll be fine. I hope. Bye. Oh, yes, yes. That man could get anyone's motor running. <sighs> do you realize that you have the libido of a 16-year-old boy? Yes, I do. I do indeed. Oh, honey, you're having another hot flash. Okay. I'm sorry. I want to be sympathetic. I've just never had one. You're not missing anything. I think I'm going to throw myself right into that snowbank. No, please refrain. You're not dressed for it. You know, I'm not enjoying this at all. And if you are really my friend, you will make it stop. I am really your friend. But this is your life, currently, and you must embrace it. Let this book be your guide. What is that? It's a book. Look it up. I've read this. I've read them all. Unless there's a cure in it, I'm not interested. You know, it's all in your attitude. I have a lousy attitude. I'm not a very good sport about this at all. All right, well, I hate to sound like an old song, but you're only as old as you feel. I feel 110. Well, I feel 25. Of course, that may have something to do with last night. What happened last night? Eh. What did you do last night? I had fun. What kind of fun? The kind of fun you could have if you'd let your hair down, figuratively speaking, every once in a while. I do every once in a really? while. Really? Name me one time. Just one. You know, just because I'm not lewd like you doesn't mean that I'm uptight. Alexis, I am your best friend, and so I'm going to be incredibly honest with you right now. You live your life uptight, clenched. It is time to release, break free. Just take a chance. I stayed last night and played strip pool with all of you. Yes, and you didn't remove so much as an earring. I can't help it. I'm really good at pool. Okay, you're missing the point. What's the point? A and stop fixing me up with Mac, really. Well, actually, I don't know if you even stand a shot with Mac anymore, especially after last night. What did you do when you left Jake's last night? I took Mac home. To bed. You slept with Mac? He was drunk, distraught. Vulnerable. So you moved in like a great white? Hey, you had your shot and you headed for the hills, leaving me to deal with the poor man alone. I get it, I get it. So that advice last night, I need to make my move before someone else, well, who knew that somebody else would be you? Alexis, I had no plans. I simply seized the moment. Is this your misguided attempt to make me jealous? I'm not that altruistic, I'm afraid. Don't take advantage of him. He's a nice, kind guy. Okay. A, you are correct, he is a nice, kind guy. And B, I think he was thoroughly appreciative that I took advantage. You are a slut. All right. <clears throat> My suggestion is that you reread the book. No, it will not keep you warm at night. You obviously don't need that. But it might be some company. <laughs> <laughs>